morning students myself vijay shankar from ec department chevrolet engineering college today are going to discuss about the examples in the em wave characteristics that is the fifth unit the last unit electromagnetic wave characteristics examples okay the first example So the example can take. Uh, I'll explain the whiteboard. A three hundred megahertz, a three hundred megahertz uniform plane wave. Uniform plane wave. Propagates through the fresh water. Propagates through fresh water for which alpha is equal to zero. The given alpha is equal to zero. That is nothing but a attenuation constant, and mu r is equal to one, and epsilon r is equal to given seventy eight Then they are asking to calculate uh, calculate uh, the attenuation constant. This is uh, not the alpha minus two. This is sigma. Calculate the attenuation constant. Attenuation constant alpha. Second one, phase constant beta. Phase constant beta. And third one, wavelength lambda. Wavelength lambda. And fourth one, intrinsic impedance eta. So these are the three, or the three is the four parameters you have to find out uh, for the given function. The frequency three hundred megahertz of uniform plane wave propagates to the fresh water, for which uh, the conductivity is a zero, mu r is a one, and epsilon r is equal to seventy eight. So to find the attenuation constant, first of all. The given medium, see the wave propagated through the fresh water. They are saying it is a fresh water. In that, the conductivity is a zero. The conductivity is a zero. Assuming that the conductivity is a zero means uh, that is a lossless medium. Lossless medium. Okay. So, if lossless medium is what is alpha is equal to zero, and conductivity is a fresh water for which the sigma is equal to zero, the conductivity is zero. The attenuation constant there is no any loss, lossless medium. It is alpha is equal to zero, and second one they are asking the beta, the phase constant. The phase constant. When now the propagation constant, we know what is the propagation constant. Gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta. Alpha plus i beta. This is a propagation constant. In that, whenever it is a lossless medium, alpha is equal to zero. Then the beta is equal to omega root mu epsilon. Okay, that omega is two uh, pi f, and under root of uh, mu is a uh, mu naught and the mu r, and the epsilon is a uh, epsilon naught and the epsilon r. So we know 
mu r epsilon r and the remaining the mu not and the epsilon not is a constant mu not is equal to for pi into 10 power of minus 7 is always is a constant my dear students and it is a epsilon not is also the constant 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 okay and given the frequency is a 300 mega so 2 pi into 300 mega is 10 power 6 300 and under root of mu naught mu naught is a 4 pi 4 pi into 10 power of minus 7 and if mu r is equal to 1 multiplied with epsilon naught 8.854 into 10 power of minus 12 is epsilon naught and epsilon naught is given as a 78 multiply this is 78 here okay you can simplify this function we'll get the beta is equal to beta is equal to that is a 55 i am writing directly the value 55.529 radians per meter okay is a 55.5. So we got the beta. It is a lossless medium. Alpha is equal to zero. That's the first one. And beta is equal to 55.529. And the third one they're asking uh, find the wavelength lambda. And the lambda, we know the formula of the lambda is equal to 2 pi by the beta. 2 pi by beta. So 2 pi by, we got the beta is a 55.529. That is equal to, I'm writing the value directly, the 1131 1, meters. Because it is a lambda, wavelength is a length in terms of the meters. And fourth one, they're asking to find the intrinsic impedance eta is equal to intrinsic impedance eta eta is equal to mu pi epsilon this is a formula the under root of uh, mu naught and the mu r by epsilon naught and the epsilon naught so what is a mu naught uh, 4 pi into 10 to the power of uh, minus 7 and mu r is a 1 all divided by 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 multiplied with the epsilon r. Epsilon r is a 70. Okay. Under root. So here, by using your calculator, you can find the value the eta we got as 42.656. Here the eta is intrinsic impedance. Impedance means the ohms. Okay. So alpha, the lambda, we got uh, 0.11 meters. And eta, we got the 42.656 ohms. Alpha is equal to, beta is equal to, and the wavelength, the lambda, and the intrinsic impedance, eta. Got it, my students. And similar way, Coming to the next example, go for the second example, example two. A 9375 9, megahertz uniform plane wave is propagated in a polystyrene. So previous uh, example, uh, this work, the uniform plane wave is propagated in the fresh water. And the second there, the conductivity is given, the sigma is equal to zero, epsilon r is given and the mu r is also given. In this, the uniform plane wave is propagated in a polystyrene 
the uniform plane wave is propagating in a polystream if the amplitude of the electric field intensity amplitude of the electric field is given that is a 20 volts per meter amplitude of the electric field intensity 20 volts per meter and the material is assumed to be lossless and the material is assumed to be assumed to be lossless whenever if it is saying the lossless means alpha is equal to zero lossless then find uh, what they're asking the attenuation constant to alpha second one phase constant beta and third one wavelength of the polystyrene lambda and the fourth one velocity of propagation the v and asking the other one the fifth one is the intrinsic impedance sixth propagation constant gamma and seventh amplitude of the magnetic field intensity amplitude of magnetic field intensity okay for that the given mu r is equal to for the polystyrene mu r is equal to 1 and epsilon r is equal to 2.56 okay now you can do by using this uh, given data the frequency is given 9375 megahertz uniform plane wave is propagated in a polystyrene if the amplitude of uh, electric field intensity given e bar is equal to 20 volts per meter and this material is assumed to be lossless they are saying it is a lossless directly the first one alpha the attenuation constant alpha is equal to zero since it is a lossless medium lossless medium Word then the second one the beta the same formula you know, use mu epsilon under root omega into that is equal to 2 pi the frequency is given 9375 mega into 10 power of 6 and under root of uh, mu naught and the epsilon r and that mu naught and epsilon r is a uh, mu naught uh, 4 pi into 10 power of minus 7 into mu r is a 1 multiplying with the epsilon naught 8.854 into the power of minus 12 okay into and what is the epsilon r is equal to here 2.56 2.56 that is equal to what is the formula here the omega into under root of mu epsilon then directly I'm writing the value here, 3314.37 3, the beta is in the radians per meter. And third one, the same formula what we used in the previous example to find the wavelength lambda is equal to 2 pi by the beta. 2 pi by the beta. So 2 pi by beta we got as a 314.37 that is equal to lambda is in meters so 0 0.1998 meters but modest friends now the fourth one they're asking uh, is the velocity v is equal 
velocity v in terms of the lambda is equal to v is equal to f lambda is a formula my dear students so is a very very important uh, so directly by substituting the given values uh, if you know the formula okay the velocity is equal to 930375 into 10 power of 6 or the 10 power plus 6 into 0.01998 is a velocity f lambda okay the f is a directly is a given the frequency 9375 9375 into the power of 6 it's a frequency one directly given the frequency megahertz okay that is equal to we got 1.873 into the number of 8 meters per second the velocity and the fifth one the previously find the eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon okay that is equal to mu not into mu r for pi into 10 power of minus 7 into 1 whole divided by epsilon is 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 multiplying with epsilon r is a 2.56 got it matters simplify by using your calculators we'll get the 235.46 ohms and sixth one they are asking uh, gamma is equal What is the gamma propagation constant? Is alpha plus i into beta? What is alpha attenuation constant? Due to the lossless medium, alpha is always a zero. Zero plus i into the beta is a phase constant. We got a three fourteen point three seven. Okay, is an imaginary coefficient per meter j into three. Hundred fourteen point three seven, and other one they're asking it is a seventh one is a amplitude of the magnetic field intensity. Amplitude of the magnetic field intensity. We know the intrinsic impedance is related with the E M by H M. E M by the H M. If this uh, electric field is always in the x direction, so it is represented as e x. Magnetic field is in the y direction; it is a y. Okay. You need to find uh, the h y. The eta is equal. What is the eta? We got two three five point four six is equal to the electric field is given the twenty twenty by the h y. That is equal to h y. That implies uh, h y is equal to twenty by two thirty five. Sorry, two thirty five point four six. The value is uh, when you calculate this one. Is a point zero eight four nine four. The electric field is a volts per meter, and now the magnetic field is amperes per meter. Okay, so totally the seven parameters they are asked to find by the given frequency and the uniform plane wave is propagated in a polystyrene. For that material, assume it is a lossless and R is equal to one, and epsilon is equal epsilon R is equal to two point five six, and given also the amplitude of the electric field intensity E bar is equal to twenty volts per meter. They ask the attenuation constant. Given that the lossless of uh, medium is alpha is equal to zero, and the beta is equal to omega into under root of mu epsilon. And lambda, the wavelength is at pi by the beta. Velocity is uh, f into lambda. 
or f lambda and intrinsic impedance is equal to under root of mu by epsilon gamma is alpha plus i beta and eta is a em plus by the hm plus or otherwise uh, the electric field is in the x direction and the magnetic field is in the y direction ex by the hy therefore the hy the amplitude of the magnetic field intensity we got uh, the ratio between of intrinsic impedance with uh, electric field intensity amplitude okay my dear students now coming to the next example but there are actually another example third example in the fifth unit uh, an electromagnetic wave in a free space have a wavelength in a free space free space they are asking is epsilon r is equal to what electromagnetic wave in a free space the wavelength the lambda is equal to 0.20 meters wavelength is given when the same wave enters in the perfect dielectric when this the same wave enters in a perfect dielectric perfect dielectric the wavelength changes the wavelength changes the wavelength nothing but it's a lambda wavelength changes as to 0.20 meters as changes to the 0.09 meters assume that assume that mu r is equal to 1 determine determine the epsilon the first one they are asking that is determine the epsilon and the wave velocity in the dielectric and wave velocity wave velocity in dielectric dielectric medium okay if it is a dielectric medium it is definitely the conductivity is zero so the electric field electromagnetic wave with the medium one is that is a free space the wavelength In the medium one, let us take it is a medium one. Why I am saying it is a medium one means whenever this same wave is entered in the perfect dielectric, in a perfect dielectric, the wavelength is changes. In the medium one, the wavelength lambda one is equal to point two meters. Point two meters. While in the medium two, in the medium two. the same wave it is in the entered the another medium its wavelength is changes it is lambda 2 is equal to 0.9 meters 0.09 meters okay in the both the medium the frequency of electromagnetic remains is the same okay in this both the frequency is the same frequency is the same my dear so when the electromagnetic wave is the free space the velocity of propagation is given as velocity of propagation is given as v is equal to so v is equal to actually it is the c the frequency is the same and the lambda actually the f into lambda is there. that is approximately equal to the c that c is equal to 3 into 10 power of 8 meters per second okay the same frequency the velocity and they are asking that uh, they have to find out uh, epsilon and the wave velocity wave velocity in the dielectric wave velocity in the dielectric and the epsilon also it is epsilon is very important here when there is a two mediums 
at one VDM is a lambda one is equal to one point two and the lambda two is equal to point not nine. So let us take this of V one. The velocity V one is equal to as a, as a C three into ten to the power of eight meters per second in the free space. And F is equal to in that if I am taking the F is equal to C by lambda one. C by the lambda one, the frequency. So we know the F lambda velocity V is equal to F lambda. V is equal to F lambda. That V I am saying that is a C here, and F lambda one. So I need the frequency. The F is equal to C by lambda one. What is the C? The three into ten to the power of eight by the frequency at the lambda one is a point two. You can take it as a one point five into ten to the power of nine hertz. Okay, after you calculate two by ten, it is ten power nine will get three by two is a one point five. Okay, my students. Now the electromagnetic wave enters in the perfect dielectric with the frequency. So here the frequency is a uh, lambda one is equal to point two. At that case, the frequency is a one point five into ten power of nine. Okay, and wavelength is a lambda two. Then the velocity is uh, what is the velocity now with this frequency, and uh, the length of the wavelength is a point not two. It is entered in the perfect dielectric. Uh, now what is the frequency? What is the velocity there? That velocity is a v two is equal to v two is equal to f lambda two. Okay, f lambda two. What is the f here? One point five into ten power nine, and it's a medium two. The wavelength is a point not nine. Point not nine. That velocity v two is equal to we got as the one point. Three five into ten to the power of eight meters per second. Okay, the V one we got is a constant value. In the same frequency for both the lambda one and the lambda two, we use one point five ten to the power of nine. Now the second velocity, the V is equal to one point three five into ten to the power of eight meters per second. We got. But the velocity of propagation can also be expressed as v two is equal to. You can also by using this formula, you can find the one by under root of mu epsilon. Okay, one by under root of mu epsilon. The v two we got as one point three five into ten to the power of eight. Eight. That is equal to. Right is implies so that is equal to one by under root of that is a mu naught and the mu r. What is a mu naught? Four pi into ten to the power of minus seven. Minus seven. They are saying that is a mu r is equal to one. Assuming that is a mu r is equal to one, and we need to find the epsilon also. The epsilon is equal. To. Okay. Therefore. The epsilon is equal to, or under root of uh, the squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides, the epsilon is equal to one by four to the power of uh, minus seven, multiplying with the uh, one point three five into ten power minus eight uh, whole square, and for this only the whole square. Whenever it is a squaring, uh, the square root get cancelled here. Plus multiply this epsilon and bring this value to the denominator. So the epsilon is equal to. We got the epsilon is equal to four point nine three one five. Okay, okay, my dear students. Like this, we can find out uh, for the given. Values of the lambda 
and the wavelengths, uh, different wavelengths. When we enter into the one medium to the other medium, assume the VR is equal to one, then you can find the epsilon and the wave velocity in the dielectric. The wave velocity V2 is equal to 1.35 in of heat. And using that velocity, the epsilon is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon in of minus 7 to whole square. It is approximately we got as a 9 point, uh, not the 9 point, 4.9315. Got it, my dear. Coming to the next example, my dear students, so the fourth example, we can check uh, another example. Here you have to remember the concept and the formula, my dear students. Exactly the same data in the examination we don't get, we did get the, uh, the values the same. And they ask in the, in the different way, but you have to remember the how can do by using the given data and using the formulas. The concept is very important. They calculate the attenuation constant. They're asking that calculate the attenuation constant alpha is equal to and the beta is equal to the phase constant. Calculate the attenuation constant in the phase constant of a uniform plane wave with the frequency, uniform plane wave with frequency. 10 gigahertz, 10 gigahertz in poly, poly ethylene for which in the wave is traveled with this uh, for which The mu naught is equal to mu and epsilon r is equal to 2.3 and conductivity is a given, the conductivity is equal to 2.56, 2.56 into 10 power of minus 4. Ohms per meter. See the wave is propagated or the uniform plane wave with the frequency of 10 gigahertz in a polyethylene for which uh, the mu is equal to mu naught and epsilon is equal to epsilon r is equal to 2.3 and the conductivity is also given and you have to find out uh, attenuation constant and the phase cost. Attenuation constant and the phase cost. So actually, we know that gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta. We need to find the alpha and the beta. They are not saying that it is a lossless. If it is a lossless, alpha is equal to zero and the beta is equal to omega under root of mu epsilon. So directly you can substitute the frequency mu naught and the epsilon naught. But they are given the sigma also. Sigma means the gamma is equal to, we have the formula is there, that is j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon. Got it, my dear students. So here the frequency is there, the mu is there, epsilon is there, and the conductivity is also. Then the real term is alpha and the imaginary term is a beta. So under root of j into j into omega the 2 pi into frequency the 10 gigahertz into 10 to the power of 9 whole multiply with the sigma is a 2.56 into 10 to the power of minus 4 less j into again the omega is there the 2 pi into 10 giga, 10 power 9, so 2 pi f and epsilon, see here the I, I substitute only the j omega, mu is also there, mu is nothing but mu naught, that mu is a mu naught means so 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 is also there here, it is a multiplication factor, total is multiplied with 
j omega epsilon what is the epsilon is epsilon not and the epsilon not epsilon not is 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 and multiply with 2.3 is whole multiplied that is equal to okay my dear students that the gamma is equal to now you can convert this as a function under root of j to pi j 2 into 4 is 8 pi square and here the 10 power 10 minus 7 is there 10 power 3 multiplied with 2.56 into 10 power minus 4 plus j into 2 pi is a 2.3 2 pi into here the 10 power 10 and 10 power minus 12 so 10 power minus 2 multiplied with the 8.854 into 2.3 okay my dear students so now multiply Calculate this value and multiply this, we will get the j, means j coefficient is a beta. And calculate this value and multiply with this uh, j, j square, j square minus 1. So whatever the value is there, that is a real term. And convert the rectangular form to the polar form or the polar form to the rectangular form. We will get uh, this alpha plus i beta, the gamma is equal to. By simplifying this equation, we got here the j some coefficient will get plus j square into some coefficient will get that is under root of. minus of some value plus j into the coefficient then alpha is equal to by removing the under root of means you have to find out this in the polar form this rectangular form is converted to the minus x plus uh, i into y converted to the polar form the magnitude and the angle then angle is a magnitude is under root and angle is a pi 2. So alpha will get as a, alpha is equal to in the Napier per meter is 0.0554 Napier per meter and the beta, the coefficient of uh, the J that is a 317.84 radians per meter. Okay, my dear students. That is, they ask uh, what is the alpha and the beta for the given attenuation constant and the beta is equal to phase constant. So, the given frequency 10 gigahertz in a polyethylene for which uh, the mu is equal to considered as a mu naught and epsilon r is given. So, epsilon naught is there 8.854 into the number of minus 12 and substitute all the values and simplify. The real coefficient is alpha attenuated constant and imaginary coefficient is a phase constant. That is alpha we got as 0 0.05 Napier per meter and beta is equal to 317.84 radians per meter. Good, my dear students. This is example 4. All in this, uh, the formulas is a very important, my dear students. See, the first example, uh, Alpha is uh, the lossless means alpha is equal to zero. Alpha is equal to zero. And beta is equal to omega into under root of mu epsilon and the lambda is equal to 2 pi, 2 pi by beta and eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. And coming to the second example. In that second example also, the beta is the same magnitude 
lambda the wavelength is the same and the velocity is there that velocity v is equal to f lambda and intrinsic impedance is under root of v by epsilon and the intrinsic impedance in terms of electric and the magnetic field is the ratio between of em plus pi the hm plus okay Coming to the third example, they are asking that uh, for the given the medium one, there is a velocity, not the velocity, the wavelength is the point two and the another wavelength is lambda two. When it is a travel from one medium to the other medium, what is the velocity and the epsilon? The first one is the velocity is uh, three into the number of eight uh, is a constant value. Then after it is moved towards uh, another me another uh, medium, that velocity is changes uh, when the wavelength is also changes 1.3 phi into the power of 8 and v2 is equal to 1 by under root of uh, mu epsilon and the coming to the fourth example the gamma is equal to j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon substitute all the values and find the alpha and the beta quite management 